A part of history happening right here on the Gulf Coast at Ingalls Shipbuilding in Pascagoula. Harper Robinson takes us there. An exciting day at Ingalls Shipbuilding in Pascagoula as they christen the future USS Ted Stevens. The late Ted Stevens' wife, Catherine Ann, and his daughters, Susan Stevens Kovich and Lily Irene Becker, christened the ship dedicated to a man they felt lucky enough to call family. This ship is nimble, powerful, lethal. Those are all world words I might be able to describe him. Um, you know, he, he was so passionate, so passionate about Alaska and its people, um, about the country, about the military and he was a fighter. Ingalls program manager Ben Barnett says he and his crew have been working hard on building this ship for the past three years, and it's a great day to see their hard work pay off. It's really incredible to be part of the entire shipbuilding process, to see a ship come together from the time it's, it, we start fabrication, and it's a plate of steel to the great ship that we see here today. Ted Stevens was an Alaskan senator for 41 years and helped Alaska gain its statehood. Becker says this day dedicated to her dad's amazing work is overwhelming and leaves her at a loss for words. It's, it's hard to even know what to say. Um, dad was such a supporter of the Navy. He was a former World War II pilot. And I know the ship is going to sail with the spirit of Alaska and the spirit of Ted Stevens. This will be the 36th destroyer that Ingalls has built for the U.S. Navy. In Pascagoula, Harper Robinson, WLOX News Now. And we're told that wasn't the only exciting event happening there at Ingalls today. A 16,000 ton Navy warship has has arrived in Pascagoula to begin a two year process to install two hypersonic missiles. It's called the USS Zumwalt and it originally came from San Diego. In a statement, a, a spokesperson said the upgrades installed here on the coast will make sure the Zumwalt remains one of the most technologically advanced and lethal ships in the US Navy.